This is about to be a Mayana Reads appreciation video. And that's it. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's me, it's Natalie. So, I, we're gonna be doing something so fun today. I am so excited. So basically, okay, so like sometime last year, I remember I did a book chats with Nat right and essentially what i wanted to do with those is i have a lot of booktuber bookstagram used to be book twit um book twitter mutuals right and i always loved the videos that i would see you know people put out that was taste tests i read so and so's top favorite books i read so and so's least favorite books and i kind of wanted to do my own spin on that you know when i started booktube i was like i want to eventually make those kinds of videos one day and I kind of wanted to do my own little twist to it not just not just for me just like not just picking out books myself but <laughs> you're gonna laugh at me in like 10 seconds <laughs> anyway so I wanted to do kind of what Nikki Tutorials used to do well when I used to watch her uh she used to basically text or dm or call someone usually celebrities and ask them hey what's your top two top three favorite foundations what are your top two top three favorite eyeshadow palettes what are your top two top three favorite blushes and she would just sometimes use them all like in different videos or she would just use pick one out and see if she likes it so i kind of wanted to do a little bit of twist of that and so my first ever book chats with that video my first ever book chats with that video my friend my mutual megan meg with reads she recommended me three different my grandma's cooking are you okay recommended me two i think three different thrillers and i'll leave a link you can go watch that so i knew that i wanted to do that again this year right sometime just wanted to do that but i didn't know who to ask and i didn't really know like i've been so like mood reading and like very specific with what I've read just because I've been kind of like in a reading funk and so I was like I want to give the books that people actually like recommend to me that actually tell me these are their favorite books I want to get do them justice I just don't want to read them when I'm in a bad mood or something you know so I was like let me wait and so I knew that my next person I wanted to ask was Mayana so if you don't know obviously you guys do uh Mayana for Mayana Reads she is this funny amazing cool gorgeous booktuber here on books too but she's also a bookstagram which is on book twit i will leave all her socials down below i met her through our mutual friend sin so thank you so much sin drew i love my Anna. she is so cool and i recently started noticing that we are reading the same books and we are liking the same books so i was like hold on so what kind of triggered this video where i was like so i kind of wanted to ask her before uh my favorite or her favorite dark romances or romances in general because she she reads a lot she's like queen of reading but i just i didn't really know if i was like in the romance mood or something so i was like let me just put a pin on that and then and then i posted that i was going to read my first ever tessa bailey and she was like she responded she's like oh my god yay and then i later responded that i later like put it again that I loved it. I gave it five stars. And she was like, oh my god, yay! And I was like, you know what? It's time. I'm gonna do a little twist on my video of my honors, like, of this. <laughs> so basically, I read Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. And that is gonna be the first book that I'm gonna read that I, uh, of my honors favorites. I want to read my honors favorites. Uh, a lot of these are books that she just read. A lot of these books are books that she read, like, last year. There's kind of, like, a variety of everything. So that's why I'm really excited. So yes, the first book that I read was Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. This one was a romance. I just finished it, like, I think yesterday or two days ago. I loved it. I loved it. I am so sorry if you hear it coming out so black. I think my grandma's cleaning now. Yep, water's running. And Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey uh, stars our main character, Georgie, and her childhood crush, Travis. Travis is her brother's best friend and she has been in love with him since she basically saw him. She's literally just been head over heels in love and now that they're adults, it has basically never gone away. And so I really related to this book because as someone who was the only girl cousin in a family of, or I have two older brothers and literally until I was like 10, I had no girl cousins. So like I was around best friends, I was around, you know, classmates, I was there. And as someone who was 
actually in love with my one of my cousin's best friends i can relate to georgie so she essentially she she's in love but travis is this like rising baseball star and he ends up making it to majors but he moves back after an injury essentially ends his career and he basically becomes a loser and georgie's like this isn't the travis that i remember that i remember you know the bigger than life this baseball star every girl wants him well they still want him every guy wants to be him but they still want to be him that's travis i remember not this like super like depressed in a hole like doesn't even want to get out of bed literally like in danger of a rat's infestation in his apartment because it's like so dirty she was like this isn't the travis i remember this isn't the travis i'm in love with and so essentially essentially what she does is she helps him get back on his feet and in doing so they fall in love but there's so many tropes in here there's like obviously miscommunication love that there is fake dating there is first time there is literally like falling in love in like the cutest way kind of like a second chance not really but kind of becoming friends and then becoming lovers i think that was really cute i love this uh the only thing i didn't really love about it even though i gave it five stars was the fact that third act breakup scene i love third act breakup scenes you guys already know i love third act breakup scenes i love miscommunication tropes those are my tropes i love that because i'm just an aries and i love drama i just live for the drama so like i just love all those like drama stuff my holy trinity i'm not really sure if, oh holy trinity has to be angst obviously angst 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 the pining with the angst yes yes miscommunication and the third act breakup scene <sniffs> this is like my holy trinity of tropes i love those tropes anyway we're getting really excited to try because all of these books are not just romances let's not talk about romance tropes they end up falling in love and all is well that ends well this is a whole series like this whole world is a series and i'm really 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 excited to get to the other two books eventually okay so the next book I want to read for my own, I haven't read these. So that's the only book that I've read. All of these other books I'm going to currently be reading. The, un the Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. She has been recommending this in a lot of her books. Like, if you like this, you'll like this. Um, TikTok, like, no, not TikTok. Instagram Reels, all of that stuff. I read a Christina Lauren book before. It was actually on my worst books of 2020. It was The Honey Don't List. I don't like the way that they write. I don't like the romance that they write. But... I read Mayana's Goodread review and she said that it like made her cry. So I was like, you know what? Mayana says it's good. It's going to be good. So essentially what happens here is that we have this main character who is the best, no, the maid of honor of her best friend's wedding. And she hates the best man. Despises him. Absolutely despises him. But after the wedding, everybody gets food poisoning except them, the best man and the maid of honor because they didn't eat something. I forget what they didn't eat. Um, they didn't eat something. I don't know. I don't know what what was the food poisoning, but they got everybody got food poisoning but them. And so the best friend, obviously like the bride and the groom, they tell their best friends, "Hey, listen, we have this honeymoon that we can't go on because we're literally sick. Why don't you guys go and that way it doesn't go to waste?" And they're like, "Okay, but I hate that person. I don't know if he hates her, but she hates him." And so she's like, "I hate him," but they still go. So they basically are going on a honeymoon together, literally. So that means they're gonna go on the couples package. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be sharing the same bag. You know, it's like all of that. I know. So that's why I was like, this can redeem it. This can redeem my opinion on Kristen Lauren. So I'm really excited to read this one. Everybody says it's really good. This is like, um, this is like book twits, like one of book twits, like sweethearts. Like everybody loves this book. And so I feel like this will make or break Christina Lawrence. I will definitely give their other books a chance. But if I don't like this, then I'm hanging up my hat. Sorry, Christina Lauren. You're not for me. So yeah, so we'll see. Okay, and then the book after that I'm going to be reading is Ace of Spades. I'm really excited because it just came out and everybody's in love with it. Literally everybody's in love with it. So essentially, I don't, I don't want another plot. Like this one, like I... Before when I would say like I don't really want to know the plot, it's just because I was kind of like, not all the time, but sometimes it was just because I just was lazy and I didn't want to look up the plot. And I was just like, let me just say I don't want to be spoiled because it's like partially true, but not really. This one though, actually I don't want to be spoiled because all I've heard about this is that it's kind of a twist between Get Out and Gossip Girl, but like make it like Dark Academy of Private School. And I was like, say less, literally say less. That was it. I'm sold. Like that's it. It's over. I'm done. I'm buying it. So I, this one, like, literally, I don't, like, I can literally read it, like, right here. I don't have to, like, get up and anywhere to read it, but, like, I don't want to read it. I really, truly, truly want to be surprised because everybody says this is freaking insane. Like, insane. Like, insanely good. So that's why I'm, like, literally say less. So Mayana gave this five stars. She was, like, the bar is set so high. 
everybody else is gonna have like hell like they're gonna have to work like hell to try and reach it that's how i was like literally and it's gorgeous look at that that beautiful red the beautiful characters gorgeous gorgeous like i love it i love it i love it so i'm really excited um yeah i'm really excited okay and then i'm gonna read the but she said it's her favorite i think because I, I was watching her mid-year freak out and i think she said this was like her favorite book of 2021 the maidens by alex michaelides so one of the reasons why michaelides so one of the reasons why i was kind of nervous reading or kind of nervous asking my oh obviously just because she's so cool but one of the reasons why i was so nervous asking mayana or why i was kind of working myself up to ask her was because she didn't like the sonic patient I love this Ivan patient. I gave that five stars. That's why I was kind of like, oh my god, what if we don't have the same taste? But recently, I'm like, no, I think we do have the same taste. So I was scared. I was like, I think we do have the same taste. So this one essentially is. This one I actually don't know what it is. Okay, so the Silent Patient was obviously a psychological thriller. I think this is a Dark Academia thriller. So we have this main character. Okay, so Edward Fosca is the murderer. Of this, Mariana is certain. That's it. That's all I have to know. Someone's a murderer and someone's certain. I really like the way that he, Alex, Michaelides, Michaelides, I really like the way that the author writes in that. I'm not saying like they have to be like, no, I like the way that they tell their stories. I feel like with the silent patient, he really played with time and he used it to like set up his plot twist and he used it to kind of like further develop his characters. I don't know if that makes sense, but like he was kind of like using like he was the way that he was writing was doing like multiple things at once and that was one of the reasons why i loved the silent patient like not just because of the story and the plot twist and everything but also because i loved the way that it was written as in like constructed i think that was really really smart and it truly truly was a psychological thriller and so that's why i'm really excited to read this because it's a dark academia i freaking love dark academias so that's why i was like you know what I'm about to get my mind effed up. <laughs> I was like, I am so excited for this, and I might even make my friend our Darl's no, our Charles Dickens, no, our Darl's Chicken, our Darl's Chicken's book club. I think I might make this a book club pick for June. <laughs> I am so excited to read this, like really excited. Everybody who's read this says they love it, but I am she loves it, so that's what's important. And then the two books, no, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the last book that I wanted to do was Finley Donovan is Killing It. This is the book that she, that Mayana has raved about multiple times. I've read her Goodreads reviews, like she absolutely loves it. But I was going to check out and I, for some reason I just stopped. I was like, let me check out on Amazon like another day. I went back to it recently and it sold out. And it's going to be back in June, like in, I think it's going to be back, I think like in July or August. So I don't know if everybody's just, just, rediscovering it but it's like sold out everywhere so i'm gonna have to make my run to barnes and nobles but i'm not gonna go anytime soon to barnes and nobles that's why i was like damn so let me see what i else i have because i'm like i said a lot of the books that she was reading and loving i already had so that's why i was like let me see what else i have and then i saw that she read the final support group the final girl support group by grady hebbers and she had read um the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires I gave that one like three stars, kind of like three and a half stars, but I liked it. And that's why I wanted to choose this one because I still like that book. She loved it. She gave it five stars, I think. Um, she, that's why I'm like, I liked it enough that I feel like when she raved about it, like I agree. Like the points that she was making, she was like, I love this. I love this. I, was, I love this. I was like, yeah, yeah, all of that. Yes, yes, yes. I think the only reason why I didn't give it more was because that one was like straight up like horror. And I don't really vibe with horror that much just because you guys know how I am and I'm a big scaredy cat. So I don't really vibe with horror that much. And I think that's why I didn't give it just because that wasn't my usual genre. But this one, the final girl support group kind of reminds me of final girls by Riley Sager, but that's just off the top of my head. Essentially it's kind of like the same plot as that book by Riley Sager. This one's an arc, by the way, that's why I'm reading. I'm like, might as well boost my night alley score while I'm reading my friend's favorite book. Oh, not favorite book, a good book that she liked. So she gave this one four stars and essentially it is following this final girl support group. We have these girls who are final girls essentially, which still is I think like a murderer. Like they all had their own like little serial killers, murderers that was going after them or their friends and they survived and now they have the support group because now they're known as final girls. You know, it's like in the slashers, like Michael Myers, Freddy, Jason, they have like final girls. Like Lori Schrode is the final girl. In Scream, Naomi Campbell is the final girl. It's like that. 
And for this one, they basically start dying. <laughs> they basically start disappearing. And our main character is like, what the hell is going on? Who the hell is killing the final girls? And so she's basically just trying to figure that out. Who's killing the final girls? I think it's going to be really fun. So I'm excited to read this one. Like I said, I really like the Southern Book Club guy. The Southern Book Club. His other books. I really like his other book. But the only reason why was I'm just not a really fan of horror. And it was very gory. It was very. It was a lot. But it was good. Like I could, I could objectively say it was good. Subjectively, not for me. But I still gave it three stars because objectively, I know it's good. So yes, those are the three books. Hold up, Alexa, what day is it? I know. It's Friday, June 11th. Did you know? 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 Alexa, stop. Okay, so it's Friday, June 11th. I don't know when I'm going to finish these. Um, but I'm, I might finish this this weekend. That looks good. Because I'm going to read this. No, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this right now. I'm going to start reading this. I actually have to go to the mail. But I'm going to read this after when I come home. I am really excited to read these. Okay. My mom doesn't know I'm making these videos. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm making this video. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. So how I did my book test on that previously is I don't really check in. It's not really a reading vlog. I just talk about the books. And then I just come back and tell you guys what I think. So it's not really like a check-in kind of thing just because there's a lot of blood. But yeah, okay, I will. Okay, so now that I'm done, my house is quiet. How does that work? Okay, so yeah. Yeah, okay. I will see you guys soon. We're back. Alexa, what day is it today? Today is Friday, June 25th. I don't know how long it took, <laughs> but I took some time. Okay, so yes, I am back. I have read five books and let's talk about them. So let's chat. Let's get comfortable, guys. Let's chat. Okay, so basically, I'm going to do the fifth, the one that I like the least, up until the first place. Oh my god. So in fifth place, <laughs> as was it really a surprise? In fifth place, we have. The Unhoneymooners by Kristen Lauren. I am officially giving up on Kristen Lauren. I don't think I like them. I don't think I like the writing. I don't think I like the romances. No, they're not for me. And I sh honestly should have, because I'm so wishy-washy with them, I should have not bought this. I should have just checked out the library, but it is what it is. So basically, I was wrong about this one. It is not the best friend. It is the twin sister. The main character, Olive, is a twin sister and she is the maid of honor because she's the twin sister and ethan the guy that she hates is the brother so that's already kind of like complicated so yeah essentially they just they have their banter they think they hate each other because of miscommunication they fall in love they have third up breakup scene and then they come back together i didn't really okay so i gave this one three stars the reason why was because i was very up and down with it there was moments where i loved it where i was like oh my god yes this is what i've been missing with Christelle lauren they're finally doing it and then there were moments between the story where i just genuinely didn't care about anything that was happening i was like these characters can literally break up and i would just be like okay cool let's okay, let's move on and that shouldn't happen in a romance again my grandma's cooking love that for us um so they were okay so the characters were okay i didn't really come to love them the romance again was okay there were moments where i really wanted them together and there's moments where i really didn't care if they were gonna end up together the side characters they were there Regina and lauren i guess does fade to blackout for their smut scenes which is some people like it some people don't really like it some people hate them i don't really like them i read this because everybody said this christina lauren book was going to be the one that was going to turn my opinion on her and guess what it didn't so now i don't know if i'm going to give this out or if i'm going to literally just put it in giveaway i don't know but i kind of don't want to keep them because i didn't keep the honey don't list i checked that out and again i should have checked this out but i can see why people like it and i can see why my aunt likes it because they are their banter when it's on when their banter is like on it's funny i'm like oh my god yes this is so cute but for me personally sometimes it would also fall off and that took me out of the story and i was like nah i don't like this i don't like this i don't like this okay in fourth place is the maidens by alice michaelites i know i know i know 
So basically, Alex Michaelides, Alex Michaelides wrote The Silent Patient, as I'm sure all of you guys know. I really liked Silent Patient. I gave five stars. That was my first place. Spoiler alert, in my I Read 9, I think, mysteries. I think that, again, he has to have a psychology degree. Like, I think he's lying to us when he says he doesn't because the way that he writes, the way that he puts his plot twists in, the way that he built his characters up and, and then fits them into their plot twists and the plot line so perfectly. Amazing. So that's why I came into this with high expectations. I think that was my fault because I gave this one like three stars too. And also, this one is all of it's Latina. And there was moments where I was like, oh my god, yeah, that's such a Latina thing. But there were also moments where I was kind of like stereotypical. Like Christian Lauren just looked up Mexican stereotypes and wrote them in. So do it that way, you will. Anyway, back to this. I liked the fact that we have this one i don't know if i like it so this one is more of a straight timeline the murder happens and then we have our main character who basically goes on a journey to find out who does it who who does it but she kind of already has the person in mind so it's basically just her plain detective i thought that this one could have been more i thought this one could have definitely played around with everything more especially be considering where they were they were in oxford or cambridge they were in a, they were in one of those i think it's oxford are you in oxford cambridge cambridge or cambridge the same thing no it's no i think oxford mm, i don't know anyway um so this one again takes place in cambridge and we have a girl that's murdered and that is the best friend of the main character's niece and so the main character comes down and she's dealing with her own stuff and she basically finds out that there's like a secret society that there's these girls that might be in danger that her niece might be in danger her niece is pointing fingers at a professor all of that good stuff so the reason why I didn't give five stars was because I there was moments where I was kind of bored because it was just very straightforward. Like there was just like it was just a classic who done it. And there was moments where he mixed in like some Greek mythology, Greek tragedies like Euripides and not only like the Iliad. And that was why I gave it three stars. So I was honestly gonna give it like two, maybe one point five stars. But because he put in those moments where like about the classics and like Greek mythology and the Greek gods and goddesses that I loved, I was like, okay, fine, fine, you got me. I'll give you three stars. But I didn't really like that it was straightforward. Considering I think also I'm giving that more because I know the context and I love the sign of creation so much that I know what he can do. I know the things that he can he can mess with your mind. He can f your mind up. And I know that he could have done something so cool with this one, but I don't think he did it. I honestly have a theory that if you like the silent patient, you're not gonna like this. And if you like this, I don't think you like the silent patient. I think that's my theory. Okay, so after this one, three sec third, second, and first place, I gave it all five stars. So it was very kind of difficult for me. I was kind of like, how am I gonna do this? What do I like best? But then I kind of realized what I was gonna give my first star. What was I gonna give the first place to? So I was like, how am I gonna decide the third and second place? And then I came to it. And so I have it. So in third place, we have, I don't have it, it's not. The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I would like to apologize, and no one called me out on it. I would like to apologize by saying that I thought he was ripping off Riley Sager's Final Girls, but he's not. He's basically doing, he's doing something so cool. So each main character is like five or six main characters. Each of them, okay, have their own like murder background, like because they're the Final Girls, right? One of them is a was a babysitter, and her brother came and killed people. And then chased her into the hospital where she was sent to after. Does that sound familiar? And there's another one that's called the Dream Killer. Does that sound familiar? And there's another girl who was at summer camp when a guy in a hockey mask came and killed everybody. Does that sound familiar? And there's another one where this girl in Texas ends up fighting this like cannibalistic family and they make leather faces yeah so he's basically playing off of the um, classic american slashers and i love it i loved it i loved it i loved it i thought it was cool i thought it was action-packed i thought i vibed with all of the characters i wanted to hear more about their plot story like he can honestly do like little prequels for all of them like little like snippets of all of them and i would be obsessed i hope he does that oh my god that'd be so cool if he does that I thought that so basically what I said is correct they are targeting the final girls but I didn't really know like the whole other stuff the other stuff wasn't correct <laughs> so I liked it I liked it a lot I thought the ending was amazing I thought the way that we find out all of the backgrounds of everyone I thought that was amazing I thought the way that it was like planned out how we found out who it is was really cool and I like that this one was more like the horror was more like was more like slashers and like slasher movies and not more like um 
what he was doing with the Southern Book Club where it was just like disgusting horror gore. I like this one because it, we still have like, you know, those scenes where someone gets stabbed and someone's head get cuts off, but it was more like slasher, which I love. I love slasher films, so I love this book. I honestly think you guys should go check it out, especially if you love the Southern Book Club guys to slaying vampires. But even if you don't, I honestly think this one's different enough that you should give it a try. I think this is good. I think this was really good and I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Okay, and now for my top two. So again, I knew it was in my first place. So in second place is Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. Yes, I bought it. I checked it out in the library and I love it so much that I bought it. So this is the one where the girl, she falls in love. Story of my life, literally, but instead of brother's best friend, it's a cousin's best friend. That's my story. Her story is that she falls in love with her brother's best friend since he, they were like 12, but obviously he was kind of like, you know, everybody was in love with him because he was like this amazing person. He was destined to be part of the majors in MLB and he was, and everybody was in love with him and he was kind of a player. And then he was going to play her while he was in the MLB. Um, but she was still in love with him, you know, because she knew him as um, in a more personal, intimate way. Because, you know, he would always be over at their house. They would go on vacation together. Like, she would go to every single one of his games. And there was an accident that prevents him from being part of the MLBs anymore. So he comes back home, kind of like as a loser. And he kind of acts like it. And she's like, no, no, no. It's not how I remember you. And basically, she helps him put his life back together and give him the confidence. And they fall in love. And Tessa Bailey did everything that i wanted Christian lauren to do i love the characters i love the banter i love it those smut scenes there was smut scenes yes 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 there was i loved everything and i'm so excited to continue the series because the second and third book in this series follows other side characters that we found in here i'm obsessed i love it i'm so excited so yeah so i honestly think that this might be one of my new famous new favorite romance writers um yeah i honestly might even read this again sometime soon I love this book so much and I did give it five stars and of course first place Ace of, Ace, Ace of Spades this was a classic twist on Get Out and the Gossip Girl <laughs> it's like everything literally everything I, don't, I honestly don't even want to tell you guys because like the plot twist were making me gasp I was like living for it I was gasping out loud and I was like ready to throw this out the window so I was like what the hell is going on like it was insane so yeah so we have these two black characters uh they are part of this really 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 like posh private academy um but they don't live there like they go home but it's like a private academy it's private school and it's supposed to like help them destined to greatness right but they're only two black kids in school and there's this gossip girl kind of esque ace targeting only them in a school of white people yeah it's everything the way that they try to find out who ace is the way that ace like basically destroys their lives the way that what they thought was real is fake and what they thought was fake is real like it's a freaking mind like it just it gets to you and it's so interesting and it's so good and there's like the drama there's like the validations there's like the freaking like yes you go when they like do cool stuff like I loved it. There was moments where I was so like sad because their life was, was really getting ruined. Like their his her life was getting ruined, his life was getting ruined, and like genuinely I was like wanting to cry. I was like, I want to give these characters hugs. Like it was so good. It had everything. Everything. It actually was a twist between Get Out and Gossip Girl. Exactly what it says, it gives you. It gives you everything it says it's going to give you. So Mayana, when she said, yeah, the bar is set high. Yes, the bar is set high after this. I'm going to look at every other young young adult, like mystery thrillers, Dark Academy, and keep this in mind. And be like, hey, listen, Ace of Spades could do it. <laughs> like, literally, this was amazing. Show stopping. Amazing. Okay, so yeah, so pretty much what I learned was my aunt has a fantastic taste in books. <laughs> she has a taste in books. Like, her book taste is amazing. And she's very upfront because there are times also because like i don't want you guys to be like oh my gosh she loves every book no she doesn't because there are times when like she hates a book and she goes in on the books and i'm just i'm like yes the virgo queen i was like exactly um so i am really 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 excited to post this hopefully she likes this hello my Anna, surprise <laughs> um but i honestly think that these books are all books that you guys check out um when she gives five stars she doesn't she gives them for a reason and she pretty much did give all these books five stars i want to say no she gave this other no, she gave the the final girl support group four stars, but four stars is pretty good too. Um, but yeah, so.
please also I'll leave a link to all of Anna's socials. She is amazing. She's funny. She's so creative with her books. She posts a lot with her videos. She's so creative. Like she posts a lot because she reads a lot. So if you guys really are like binge watchers on, on booktube and like you need more people to watch, like literally go to her. Like you will get a video of like almost every week. Like she is amazing. She's on top of her stuff. She is the moment. <laughs> um, but like I said in the beginning, this is gonna be on my honor reads um stand video, stand account video. I'm just gonna talk about how much I love her. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this. I hope this wasn't boring. And um I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe and go with your favorite book for me.